Hello everybody, my name is Tokrivo and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 where we are most definitely engaging a lot, a lot of uh, Austrian and their uh, partners' troops. So let's just have a look around and see if other people are close to calling it quits. Actually, they are not, so... Um, Liege, are you actually deciding to get out of here? Um, you're at 6 out of 19, which is actually good. So we could... Conceding defeat is not enough, because the war is still not long enough. But I could just... Oh, they don't need as much money. Uh, they only need 1400. So, okay, let's just get Liege out. It's, it's just a small group. And actually, we've lost the Siege of Ostrov. Damn it. When, where are you going, Kaluga? Um, okay, so one of you can go there. I suppose. Only takes one day difference, right? Yeah, it does. Does it mean they stop running there or do they not stop? Lost the Siege of Dorpat. Hmm. War score is going up for them, of course. If we can get Vilna sieged, then we would be in a much different position, of course. Because that's also 16 of the total war score. Actually, wow. Actually doing something useful. Um, as the more people we can get out of this war, the less is left of them and their coalition. Trier, how about you guys? Um, minus 27, because they still have a lot of strength. Uh, Tuscany, how about you? Um, 6, minus 45, blimey. I'm just trying to look for people to kick out of the war. And have less troops on the field that way. Ooh. 23, that's even better. Um, Serbia, how about you? You would be at 37, not what I need. Uh, Saxony, how about you? Yeah, I'm just going to look at all of them. 19, that's better. So the if we get below this duration of... Uh, f when it's less than minus 5 on the war duration, white peace is much, much more possible. Okay, now we need everyone to Kaluga. Because we will engage them here. Which one is the first to arrive? Without a leader. I need a leader here. So actually you get no leader. You get a leader. So we need a leader in that fight, definitely. And the rest of you actually need to go there now. 12th of August. Okay, slow down a bit more. Aragon, you can have access. Swahili, you cannot. Trusil expire. No, okay, don't care. Nothing here. Too bad any diplomatic relations. Claims. We can still invest in the admin tech. We can do. Should I just do it? I mean... Yeah, I'll just invest it now, because I still need it. Um, Dia Group ports are blockaded. Benzina, ah, oh, really? Portugal all the way in the east? Yeah, this is also a problem. Kazaki nationalists. Okay, um, since these two guys are moving in on that group, that should be helpful. Even though we have very low morale here, they should be able to hold out for 10 more days. Let's slow down a bit more, just in case. Especially if they actually kill more people on the Danish side here. They'll definitely hold out. So that's 12th. They're actually there on the same day. Which is nice. Oh, we're actually holding that one. Teutonic Order actually gets the kill. Uh, oh, this is looking good for us. And uh, this is less, but we have a 2-6, they have a 3-5 with the river crossing. Ooh, we are actually losing more. Yeah. Benign neglect. Yeah, let's do the um, local trade power. We shouldn't be losing this much morale, though, should we?
Um, that's a little bit more concerning, though, of course. Huh. Serbia. How much are we now at minus? Minus 13 now, and this is not good. Oh, there's actually more armies down here as well now. Ah, this is looking worse and worse. We still have manpower, but apparently so does Austria. 111,000. Great Britain also has, like, half of this army is, is Great Britain. Where are they? I mean, seriously. There are 32,000 not doing anything here, not doing anything there. Why are they not engaging? We're fighting on our own, apparently. Um, so you guys... Uh, oh, some actually do go back to Moscow. For a change. Yeah, this army is just too big to... Engage. This one should be won, because we have... Such an overwhelming majority of forces. Three to one, I mean, seriously? I wouldn't really be able to win that one. Huh, Austria. How can we negotiate for a peace settlement right now? Oh, well, we could... Yeah, um... Hmm. Offer tribute. 85 only, though. Wow. Mostly the war score. Actually, not that bad. So, actually, we could get out of the war for giving up these two. So, it's not lost yet. Definitely not. If that's all it takes to get them out of the war now. Arrived home from Liège. Wait, what? How can there be still be an army with almost full morale? Seriously. A little bit weird. Okay, now we have a decent roll, yeah. They're losing a thousand every day. No, 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 no. Don't get in there before this fight is over. You're not allowed to get in there. Why would they arrive? Uh, so close. Ooh. Well, at least they can just turn around and move back again and help out as well. And yeah, they just got more people. Three, two, one. And there we go. We now move back in. Help them out. If th no, we actually... And all the way to Samara, of course. Okay, then you're not moving. Oh, I feel that... Yeah, but I don't want to give them Lithuania in the deal. That's just bullshit. Um, can I even go to... No, I cannot. I need to go through that. 25. Hmm... Turn course, no one wants they don't want anything. Huh. I'm conceding defeat, yeah, but that's not gonna work. Pomerania oh, actually, don't they want to get out of this war now? Offer tribute, no, wow, they're not even close. Why is there a ten oh the war score they have a ten percent war score on me? Seriously? How can they have that? Oh no, we have that... Oh, hang on, hang on. Get these in there and see if we can get a huge war score all of a sudden against them. That might actually work. I might actually get another army out of... Or another nation out of the war. You have low morale here, though. That's something. This is not enough, though. Yeah, I need to move them back to provinces at least. Come on, if we get winter now, I am happy. They lose a lot of forces from attrition. Possibly. It's still pretty even, it's just Britain is not doing a thing. They're just standing around, moping. Well, mostly because they're being blockaded also heavily, though. My ships are almost there. Poland entered it. Military lines. Okay, sue for peace. 24% war score. How much? 25 to 33. Offer tribute. Concede defeat. We'll send the offer to them. This also frees up this uh, navy. Okay, that didn't move many forces out, of course, but... How about Denmark? 
We are at 1%. 1.6 for this blockade. I see. We could blockade more. This is also a way of getting people out of the war. Just blockading and then just making sure they, they can do shit. Uh, let's see. Pomeranian fleet. Oh, look! Dan Danish troops had to sh ship out. Um, Denmark. Sue for peace. Offer tribute. 1427. No, just not enough. Okay, um, this is there. Split in half. One of you go into the next, and then we can do it. Probably. We uh, blockade their capital. Denmark. Sue for peace. Offer tribute. Yay, they would accept it. There we go. And we actually didn't lose any forces again, but it's another nation out of there, which is decent. No, Morocco, I don't mind. Poland, sue for peace. 0%. Minus 60. Only minus 16. They have some forces running around, don't they? How is Poland on the ledger? Yeah, this is... Uh, um, country and then go to the P for Poland 22 that's 22,000 though it's something so Poland super peace minus 16 only that's actually it's getting better though the war score the length of it Ostreusen whoa not happening um, Teutonic order devassalization no Concede defeat, only five difference. Hmm. 15, they need 16,000. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm get ready to get rid of that. Also, Poland. Oh, look, more places to siege suddenly. Hey, look, we're evening up this. Also, cavalry just went down hard. Um, Portugal. Oh, we actually have all our diplomats in breaking. Um, let's get them... Um, yeah. Also, ah, British troops are now also ready to do more. There's a Lithuanian fleet engaging here. That's nice. Let's take them out. Try and la take them out at least. Yeah. This is better. Now, this frees up uh, some British ships to actually engage their own, f their own blockades everywhere. So, um, one of you there, one of you there, one of you go there, uh, there, and there. That's fine. I mean, the more people we get out of the war, the better it will go for us. Um, Tuscany, 0%, minus 42, that's way too much. Um, Portugal, I really would like them out. They're at 56. Oof. Their military strength is just too high. We'd have to have way more money than we do. It's mostly their ships, though, that are their strength, of course. Is that just the Portuguese fleet? Oh, they actually have forces on that fleet, too. Whoa. Um, who else is in this that I could get out? Serbia, maybe. Offer tribute. We're at 32 still. Uh, still too much military strength. Papal State. <laughs> Minus 20. It's better though. But they still hold their capital. Some Roma. Actually their capital is Romagna. Not Roma. Just notice that. Um, Saxony you're also quite high. Minus 16. Yeah. <coughs> Conceding will soon be available with Saxony at least. Home from Poland, good. Hey, it's winter, so they should be attritioning a little bit. That's why they're splitting up so much. And splitting up means good things for us. We, should, we could wipe out this down here, by the way. They would be very hard-pressed to get reinforcements there. I think. Also, oh, I do need my capital at one point. So, um, you guys actually move on to the capital itself. Yeah, we are regaining manpower. 
And slowly but surely we are evening this up. It seems at least our cannons are going down. Trier also didn't want to get out, right? Um, 23. Length of the war is now at minus 10. Once that goes, actually, their length of the war makes them more inclined to sign peace as well. Oh, they're actually next to Moscow now. But they're still being attritioned. I want the army. Oh, can't look at the army. Um, normal winter plus five attrition. Huh. That's funny. Okay, you can actually also move on to Tula. You can go to Ryazan. Ryzen. And... You can also go there. You can all go into this one. I mean, those sieges are progressing, but they are losing people in the winter. We're only gaining man po man men, by the way. If only Britain were actually participating more actively in it. Uh, let's go there. They are trying to seize this, but that's not working. Okay, you can engage this. You're also going to Tula. If they're not moving away, we can take them definitely. Because they would really need to send in some reinforcements there. Mm -hmm. And they're not doing that, so that's good. Yeah, we are losing... Oh, crap. I forgot my leader. Oh, no. We totally forgot about that one thing going on there. Now we have a leader here, which is better. <laughs> Actually forgot to put a leader in that forward group. Stupid. Doesn't help at all. Okay, you can go try and do this. And then you can move probably into Tula to, re to move into either of these quickly. Okay, you're not doing that, so you can stay there. Oh, the more they send in, the more I can send in as well. When are they there? 23rd of February. Oh, they're too scared to do it. So, Papal State might actually be joining, of getting rid of, uh, getting out of the war pretty soon. These are bigger stacks, though, 21. Also, there is a decent Serbian army running around still. Uh, they are trying to move in more forces, of course, but... Uh, all of them into Kaluga. Let's send these guys in there as well, then. So we're going to need them. Ah, Battle of Kaluga won. Are you actually going to engage me? Also, um, Papal State. This might be good for our peace agreement. Minus 17. Damn, it's still not enough. Because they counter capital, apparently. Um, so you can actually go to Tula now, because there's a big stack. I want them to attack and get the defensive uh, penalties. Where are the Kazakhs? Oh, they're actually moving on. Damn it. They were going to have to deal with that army in this case. Oh, maybe I can just... Yeah, I'll just do this then. Two, three, five, six... Petrine, don't know. Here, 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 and here. I'll just make a small army for mercenaries that will engage them. That's only 9,000, really? Actually, nothing. Oh, that's mostly Lithuanians. They are also Eastern group. Which is good for us. Oh, they're getting a huge stack in Smolensk. Scary, but surely. They have a leader. They have a leader-ish. Uh, three, four, and six. That's not bad. If they move away, we can maybe strike again. Um, Saxony, are you ready to give up now? Or wasn't that you? Zero out of 13. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's going so slow, but <laughs> take Semigalia. Wow. Oh, they're actually sieging it now. The British are, but still their forces are 
Okay, that's actually good. Ah, we actually won that fight. Okay, um, you guys move in there. You guys move on. Ah, then everyone suddenly joins in. Huh. Not useful at all. When are you there? April 20th-ish. We're actually losing money now. Oh, army maintenance because of... Yeah, we need to regain manpower. That's costly. Uh, that's everyone now here. How much is that? That's 87. We have double that but now they're moving away which would give me a chance if they keep moving away we do have attrition here quite badly um, they actually would be splitting off May 12th of May 12th of May if I move them in here on the 11th that might work and that's Nine, ten, eleven. So they now move out. No, what? Oh, I only had one of them. Crap. Yep, yeah, that's not good. I cannot retreat them. No, they're. Damn it! I forgot a leader on this army. Jesus! Why didn't that one have the leader? Why didn't I move it back? Oh well. Yay, big wars. Well, at least we still have the army. Huh. Where are they going? Semi got Samara again. That's decent. Oh well. This is a 4 to 1 advantage now. So. 3 to 1 ish, actually. I was just looking. Ooh, we're actually now pulling ahead in numbers. Which is nice. Okay, Serbia, are you still... You've lost the Siege of Yedishkul. Okay, that's over there. Um, you guys just get together there and then move. We'll see where we go from there. Um, Trier, was Trier one that wanted out? 6 minus 19. Still 3 too little. Actually, that reminds me, reduce war exhaustion. We have enough diplomatic power to do that eight more times. So, Saxony, did you want to get out for this point? Minus 11. Ooh, offer tribute, concede defeat. Almost, almost. We're almost there. Almost there. I have no idea how many troops does Saxony even have. Well, it's 6,000 at least. It's something. It's not nothing. And the Austrians are losing a lot of troops over there. And the British are still not doing a thing to help me. Little, little bit annoying. Well, if we win this fight, which is what it looks like, because they are not joining in at all, then we can just remove this group as well. Because they cannot run that fast for me, and it's only 4,000 of them. So, um, actually, that's good. Smolensk Battle 1. Okay, um, let's move our army there. I don't think they should be able to run. When is the first one even there? There's just way too... Oh, well, they're actually retreating backwards. That's useful for me. It means I can just give chase. Also, now they have to run all the way back to their own territory, I assume. The siege of Livland is over. Dang. The siege lost. Okay. Um, or another month. So, Saxony. Sue for peace. Offer tribute. They will accept it. We're at minus five. Sending this offer. That's one nation out. Papal State, you're still probably not going to want to. Actually, minus 14. Oh, one more month and the Pope is out as well. Austria is still very high, but we're going to keep bashing on Austria for a while. Because, really, we should be able to. 
Tuscany, how about you? Do you want to get out yet? No, they still have a pretty high power. Trier, you should be able to get out now. No, two more, or three more months, really? Serbia also no, I think. Oh, well, it's not that much anymore, though. Huh. We could pay them off, but that's still a bit much. Cancel that. They wouldn't even allow me to cancel. Oh, they would allow my Bulgarian relation to go to waste. Oh. I don't mind giving this to them, because Bulgaria isn't helping anyway. Serbia and Saxony both want peace in our time. Okay, um, I think I only need half of this comfortably, so let's send the other half into Moscow. So we don't lose too many troops to attrition of one big stack running around. <laughs> because seriously, that's annoying. Um, ooh, more and more forces are now out of the war against me. And actually, we are at man, <laughs> man wise, we are way ahead. Now, well, way, way. It's 40,000, I think, ish. Maybe a bit less. They're going, oh, they're actually going to try and defeat me. Oh, that means go to Tver. You are actually moving too way, far too, much too far away from that army. Okay, how many are there now? Should be doable, but I do want a leader here. They both don't have a leader. I can send you into Moscow, though. Um, you take no leader for a minute. Yay, we want to fight. Okay, no leader. Get a leader. And then move on to Argyne. 8,000 versus 10,000 nationalists should work. I hope. 3rd of August. One more day and then we move everyone else in here. So they're actually too scared to do it. Oh, that's too bad. I would have really loved that one. Attrition still at 1% because of supply limit. Um... You can stay there for now. Same with you guys. Yeah, also supply limit. Oh, we need to split off our forces to regain as much manpower as possible. Actually, one of you can go to Kaluga then. Really need to split them off. You can actually stay in Vladimir when you get there. Actually, get all together and move on as one group. Even better. So, now it's time to really regain our manpower. Bohemia has very high war exhaustion, so do all of these. Hope is actually quite high now, too. Polotsk has lost. We've lost Polotsk. Offer tribute and bye-bye Pope. How much does that remove from the war? <laughs> Not a significant amount. Um... Three year. Are you still going to stick in it? Or yeah, six out of twenty-one. I can I don't even have the possibility to scroll anymore. That's nice. War enthusiasm is low. I reduce our war exhaustion again. There's a good thing. Move these guys up to Novgorod. So we're closer to the front. And yes, now we are getting somewhere. Also, it's Austrian troops are a bit split up as well. What is this? That's actually... Oh, that's a fleet. Huh. Well, there is uh, some fleets over there as well. But it's these forces that I want to see moving. Ah, uh, the longest war we have ever been in. Huh. Spanning multiple episodes and not a lot happening. Anyway, I want to s thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys later.